What's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kanishk and today I'm going to show you how to brine the pork chops. Let's get started. Okay, first what you need is six pork chops. My mom already put that already. These are from TC Farms. And Farm. these are from TC Farms. A picat pork chops. Let's get on with the ingredients. Yeah. First, we need six cups of water. Six cups of water. So we need to make a brine, and for that we need six cups of water. We'll show it later. Then One fourth cup of salt. Then four. One fourth cup of salt. Louder. One fourth cup of salt. Three tablespoons of brown sugar. Three tablespoons of vinegar. We are using here apple cider vinegar. And tablespoon is looks like this. Yep. And then we a got a few cloves of garlic. Yeah. A few sprigs of thyme, rosemary, and bay leaves. So yeah, and so do not we have the black pepper. Yeah. And then we will brine them. This is the brining solution and that's what it looks like. My mom's gonna pour it right over there. We it have will be covered and left out for six hours, four hours. Mm -hmm. I Hi, this is Kanish's mom, crazy mom. And we are going to actually brine it for four hours. And then we will grill them. So we'll be back with the grilled product. It will be yummy, delicious, Sweet, melt in the mouth, pork chops, which is K Dog's favorite. <laughs> yep, yeah, listen to my mom and she will assure you that All it will right. be really good. I'm gonna show you how to light up the charcoal grill. To start up, you need to put 20 coals, it needs to start up to 350 degrees. When you add more coal, it will become more higher. It, you do not want to do that. So let's start off with 20 coals. Alright, I got 20 coals. To start off, you gotta use the liquid fire and make sure that it has to go, go all the way to the coal. Like that. And then you just start lighting it up. Do it quick before it will burn. Whoa! Yes, that's actually surprising. Do not play with fire. I'll update you when it's stopped with the fire my dad is putting a oil Let it wait till it's seven minutes. Oh. Okay. No. I'm gonna check on the pork chop. Okay, flip it. Okay. Whoa!
Turn it off then. Yeah, turn it off. Indirect hit All right, the pork chop is now finished and it's on direct, indirect heat. Here are the corns and the zucchini. For every pork chop, it has to be 145 degrees at least. So this is done. This one is just done. Yeah. It up. Put it over here. Yeah, this one is done too. That one is done? Yeah. Oops. Well, that's not. I can remove this one over here. Okay, thank you. Here is one done. There's an asparagus. There's yeah. there's a zucchini. I think it's good. Yeah. So these are the two one that's not done, right? Let's try this again. Yes. And check this one. Guess. Yeah. Yes, that one is done. Okay. So we are done with all of those. Yes, now here now for the vegetables. Yeah, can you handle the vegetables? Yeah. Flip this one. This one's good. That one's good. Grilled marks. Okay. This is just one side. No, no. I'm checking on the grill mark. This one's good. Sounds good. This sounds all right.
think you need to put more coal and then close it. Yeah, most of them are uh, have in grill marks. Are in grill marks. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's just... Most of them. It's just the corn. Okay. Let's see how is the zucchini doing. Not bad. It has gr it has grilled burnt marks. I think this is done. Update. Grilled. Grilled marks again. More grilled marks. Mark. Grilled marks. Grilled marks. Whoa! That is a lot. A burnt of mine, alright. Okay then. Oh, here's my dog, Peanut. In case you're wondering. Whoa! That was way too burnt. Let these two be. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. Let's go check up on the corn. Whoa! That's good enough. Gotta let it wait a little bit longer. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. There's like those old jokes. Ouch. All right, it's good. I gotta get it back in so quick because it's about to get cooler. Alright, this is the end for my video. If you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications, and I'll see you in the next video.